Hey guys, what's up? It's Sinnery back here with another video at my house. So, uh, recently I just got a new mini bike. It's a CT200U. And what I've done to this, um, what modifications I've done to this, um, since the two weeks I've had it is, um, what I've done is I've added like some kind of Honda spring right here. That's what it does. It, um, it reacts faster, the faster, the throttle. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know, but, um, it'll react faster. It's a little, like, half-inch spring. It's so small. I had to use needle-nose pliers to get it in there. But, um, the next one is, um, a, the, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it's under the gas tank, and you basically, you basically got this black spring connect to the governor arm, and what it does, it compresses that spring together, and it won't let it expand, so you'll get about, I've gained... See, it went from 9 miles an hour or 19 miles an hour to 28. So I gained about 9 miles an hour. But today, um, I got a new performance part for it. I got me an air filter, a better air filter. And what I've done here is um, I've already screwed on the thing for the choke, whatever you call it. I don't know what to call it. but um, Yeah, but what it does, it's um, basically whenever you take off this thing, which I'll do in a minute here is uh it won't like whenever you take this air box off it won't stay on because there's nothing blocking it to keeping it on so this will keep this uh the choke on but it's pretty loose right now but um i'm gonna get my air box off real quick um but i will show you guys how to do that um let me see if i can do this hold on let me see Move my rebel flag i added this too i added a rebel flag but y'all liberals don't get mad, okay? So, um, what I'm gonna do here is, okay, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna basically remove this. I've already unscrewed it. Basically, remove the air box real quick. And I learned how to do this off of Redbeard's Garage. If you guys don't know them, they are, um, well, bas well basically, guys, you have to take the choke, you have to turn the choke on and the gas, so the gas off. So you could slide the air box off. But I learned how to do this from Redbeard Garage. You guys should really check them out. They're really cool dudes. They they teach you how to add modification part modifications to your mini bikes, like the zip tie mod, this, Honda's returner spring, everything. But yeah. Um so what you wanna get gonna do is you want you wanna um basically uh slide this on. Whenever you slide it on, you want to tighten it. You actually want to tighten it. So I'm going to try and tighten it with this crescent wrench right here. I'm going to try my best because I don't know if it'll stay on because of that. But I'll try it. All right. Let me tighten this a little bit with my fingers. Right. Let me see. Let's see if I can tighten that good. I wish I had like some kind of glue. So I could glue it on there so it won't slide, you know what I mean? But it's like, when I first put it on there, it didn't start. So you have to, t I guess you got to tighten it really tight for it to stop making a weird noise. But, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just tighten this really tight so I can, so it'll work better. You know what I mean? I didn't get it, dude. Oh my gosh. It keeps stripping, but I don't want to strip this little bolt got going on here. It's the only thing that I know that'll fit it. I know this is stupid, but hey. Eventually, though, I'm going to take off that flag because it makes it, like, really slow. Adds more drag to it, and I don't... It really gets in my way, honestly. I'll hang it up back in my room. But, yeah. Let me see if I can tighten this. All right. That's about as tight as I can get it. All right, because it'll the more I try to tighten it, it strips. So, so we're gonna I'm gonna slide that up because it's not gonna work like that. All right, and then you want to put it over the clutch like that so it'll stay on. See. And then you want to grab your two bolts from your air box. You want to screw this back in with the little crest. I'm gonna do it with my fingers first, and I'm gonna screw it in tighter with the crescent wrench so I can get it back on there. But yeah, 
me see if I can get it tied on there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can get it any tighter. Okay. Let's see if I can get it any tighter. Um, so let's see. I hope my phone doesn't get it or anything. Gosh dang, dude. So, I'm just going to do that. I hope that holds, dude. I really hope that holds. And then, this one was really hard to get on. I did it earlier, but it wouldn't, like, go in there because it's bigger bolt. And this one's, like, a smaller hole. So, I don't know. Maybe I have to stretch it out a little bit like that. There we go. Got it. And then, i got to tighten it. Tighten it really tight because not too tight because if you're too tight you won't be able to get it back off see i don't know if this voids the warranty guys so go if you guys can go check for me if this voids the warranty on a coleman mini bike i don't know so i'd have to email Col coleman or something i don't know all right flag will get out of the way Tightness is tight. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, guys, but I know this might be boring watching me. So if you want to, you can click off this video, but I'm not going to be that rude, you know what I mean? God, dude. But if you like these mini bike videos, you can go check out my TikTok at at CJ the Christian. Currently I'm at 2,000 something followers. But if you want to, you can go follow me if you like more of these mini bike videos because I post a lot of mini bike videos on TikTok. But, and I do more of, I show you guys how to do modifications and junk on there. But yeah. I don't have very many uh, subscribers on here because I don't post a lot. Because I used to, um, I used to do gaming videos, but now I've really changed. I don't like gaming that much anymore. So, and my PS4 is broken, and I like doing this more than playing in my PS4. But, let me see if I can screw this back on, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need like a socket wrench for this one. I don't even know if this will work. I really don't. can't have it real loose either because there it'll suck in air and then it'll shut right back off that's what happened earlier so you guys about taking so long to put this on oh my gosh That's about as tight as I can get it. And I hope it'll work. So let me put on this um, air filter real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that. But what you want to do here is you can turn your gas and your choke back on. And then you just put this air filter on like that. And let me put this on it. And then there we go this will do is it'll tighten it on there it'll work a lot better too so you gotta make sure it's on forward or or you'll strip it and there you go got your little mini bike or your air filter on there but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you want to.
and hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for thanks for watching.